we read about your coming out story. Okay. And it's it's amazing. So what Thank encouraged you. you to actually share your story, mm-hmm. right? To the world. Well, actually, it's always been an open secret. I never believed that somebody from the LGBTQIA mm-hmm. plus community needs to mm. come out. Um, despite being advised to before the pageant to kind of like, I guess, add clout or whatever. I actually said no. Okay. I was like, this is not why I'm joining. I have so many aspects about myself, my individuality that I'm trying to showcase and I don't want to be identified or labeled just by how I identify myself. Mm-hmm. So I guess the reason why I chose to come out in when I did, this was early June. I think the articles came out May 30, 29 or 30, was because after winning, I actually became like, and I say this without being negative or affected, the most bashed queen. Oh, yeah? So coming, well, that's expected because when you win, the supporters will actually support their bets. Mm -hmm. So you expect that, especially me. I was an artista before entering pageantry. So I already knew how to handle all of these negativities. I have such amazing parents making me confident in myself and what I have to offer. But of course... Um, there were some things that came out online about my past. And these aren't like scandalous things yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was released with such malicious intent. Okay, yeah. Um, implying and just changing my story. And I wanted to change the narrative. I wanted to take control over my story. And that's the most important thing. That when somebody tries to take that away from you, take your timeline away from you, then you can always take it back and empower mm-hmm. yourself while you're at it. Mm-mm. So yeah. So mm-hmm. thanks to all of the negative bashers, I now have a cover in Mega. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Yes. <laughs> so, it, it, ito bang mga bashers sa tawo nag-inspire sa you to no, share your story? Not. Of course not. <laughs> Sino meron ba? Or may, uh, is there a particular event or? I just felt like it was the right time because, like mm-hmm. I said, it was an open secret. I didn't feel pressured to, but I just felt like it was such an amazing time to empower the people that might need an extra boost. I mean, throughout my reign, my main goal is to just empower and inspire as many people as I can. And if anything, that's that was my objective with coming out. Because yeah. again, I don't think it's something to be ashamed of. Mm-hmm. My closest friends knew, my friends, not even closest, knew about it. I think as long as you know the right people, then you'll know about it also. And of course... Uh, my family knew, my management knew. So, you know, it was just about time to tell the universe, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And just share parts of me that I never really felt confident sharing before. Owning it. Really. Yeah. Owning and really being authentic. Yeah, really <laughs> being authentic. Exactly. That's it. So, how, speaking of authentic, yeah. how important is it to you that you are authentic? I mean, it wasn't it wasn't an easy journey for sure. Mm. Um, but it was very important coming into the pageant because I guess I realized when I assessed myself, I assessed just my whole life that I was always conforming mm. towards what other people would expect from me. And by other people, I'm not talking about bashers. I'm talking yeah. about like management, parents, right, friends. Right, right. Um, because I guess I come, I really came from a high profile family of a celebrity mom, celebrity dad. So I was always trying to make sure that I don't reflect on their reputation mm-hmm. in the wrong way. So yeah, I, I just had to be confident and be really assertive that who I have to offer and what I have to offer is enough and is mm-hmm. empowering. And I just had to trust that this was what the organization was also looking for as well. So, you know, I when when I brought the team together, my Miss Universe Philippines team, I really told them I'm changing the game. I'm changing my branding. Mm-hmm. Not like a full 360, but I'm going to show people parts of myself that they haven't seen before. I'm going to mm-hmm. show more vulnerability. I wanted to show my more authentic self my authentic branding mm-hmm. and just be so unapologetic with who I am off camera. Right. And again, it just it just paid off and it worked. And if anything, I think that's what people should really strive to do. Mm. So just be confident in what you have to offer. 
don't forget to upgrade your home security with PLDT Home Security Devices. Yes. Choose from a variety of security products that fit your family's needs. Just visit pldthome.com slash UFI for more details. Hi everyone, it's Michelle Marquez D. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to the PLDT Home YouTube channel.